So, David, uh, it's 2023, and you've just made an announcement yesterday about um, your Chief Executive Officer. Yeah, Happy New Year to everyone. And certainly Ian's announcement of his intention to retire in the middle of the year may have come as a surprise for some, but I think we all knew Ian was a lot closer to the finishing line than the beginning. It's been a remarkable 31-year journey as Chief Executive, and he's actually had a longer stint in different roles earlier with the Association. Ian's care for the Association has always been obvious, and he's kept myself and the Executive very much informed of his attentions through the journey. So it's a time of, of some change, but it's also uh, a time for us to reassess and, and get the best possible person in that role. Right now, I'm reflecting on Ian's unbelievable achievement. I can't think of anyone who's had a greater impact on tourism and hospitality and training in, in our time in the long, long history of the AHA. He, he's a leader of the organisation. He's a leader of the industry. He has respect in every spectrum, being that with membership, being that with allied industries, and most importantly, being that in the corridors of power of North Terrace. So we're very grateful. We're very appreciative of Ian's role. He set up the association in a fantastic base. He leaves it in a fantastic area, and I'm very confident of what we go next with our organisation. David, it is the start of 2023. Uh, are there new issues on the table, or are you really looking at uh, a continuation of issues that you were dealing with last year? Yeah, right now, there might be a bit of a hiatus through the summer, but right now, the issues we're dealing with really are the ones that the legacy issues at the end of last year. The one that stays the same is, is the job shortage. I've given up to calling it a skills shortage. It's a people shortage, it's a drop job crisis. And we're still relentless on that. It's actually critical that we convince government, be it through migration, be it through training opportunities, be it through the way apprenticeships are structured, that there's, there's just a need for change. So that will absolutely remain the number one agenda item for 2023. Um, the beer excise, and that's really topical at the moment, it sort of disappears from media attention after a couple of weeks and comes back with the next cycle. I can assure you it doesn't disappear from our agenda. And uh, nationally, we've done a detailed submission to the government federally again on this. We aren't going away. It's, it's wrong what's happening and it needs to be reassessed. They'll be the two really hot issues for us at the moment. Like always, a whole range of other issues that come and go. There's no shortage in the, in the inbox.